This is Max Goldberg from Living Max. So I'm here out in Brooklyn, New York City. I'm here with Andrew Kimbrell from the Executive Director of the Center for Food Safety. Andrew, it's great to see you again. Max, great to see you. Last time I saw you was at Expo West, and now we're here today in Brooklyn, the launch of the GMO March. Super important. Super important. People need to get in the streets and say, we have the right to know what's in our food. Exactly, which gets me to my first question is, what's going on on Tuesday? Something you just announced on stage. Yeah, it's kind of exciting. We have gotten uh, literally hundreds of the Organic Trade Association, organic businesses together with the leading uh, public interest groups. Mm -hmm. Center for Food Safety, Consumers Union, you name it. We're all on a label, uh, a labeling petition to the FDA. Okay. This is a formal legal action. This isn't some letter. Okay. This is a formal legal petition to the FDA saying you not only have the statutory authority to label, you have the statutory absolute requirement that you label genetically engineered foods because they are different. Right. So we're all, we're sending that in and we're trying to get everyone to comment on it. They'll open a public docket when this petition gets filed. Okay. We're trying to get one to four million Americans to comment to the FDA, and they can CC that to the White House. Yep. I'll tell you how in a second. And so during this election year, yes. Obama can count. Yeah. If he gets one to four million people saying, fulfill your campaign promise to, for labeling. Remember, yep. Obama said he was for mandatory labeling when he ran the last time. Okay. So we're saying, fulfill your campaign pledge. Yep. Let's have mandatory labeling. We need a one to four million folks. And where can people vote on this? Where can they go? There's a, a number of websites, centerforfoodsafety.org, right. okay. True Food Now, yep. so, and Just Label It. Okay. Okay? Just Label It. Those are all um, uh, websites that you can use. Okay. Okay, so Just Label It, yep. centerforfoodsafety.org, okay. uh, 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 True Food Now. Right. And uh, you can r go right in there, and you don't just have to just get and vote, go to the FDA. Okay. You'll you go right into the FDA docket, go to the White House. You'll be going right into the White House. You might as well just be there yourself. Awesome. So everyone, please go out to these websites and vote. It's super important. Getting labeling of genetically modified food is, uh, there may not be anything more important for right now in terms of organic. It's the home run ball. It will protect yeah. organic. Yeah. It will protect us from being guinea pigs for these foods. Yes. And it will protect our farm workers, our soil, our crops from hundreds of millions of pounds yeah. of herbicides, including 2,4-D and dicamba. So it, it's the best thing you can do to uh, really protect the future of food over the next several years. Please, uh, everyone, please vote. Get, get on those websites. Absolutely. Well, we're going to do our part to get it out there. And thank you so much for everything you do at the Center for Food Safety. You know I'm a massive, massive fan of everything you guys do. Talk about you all the time. And if it weren't for you, I mean, the organic food industry would really be in peril. So thank you so much for everything. Right back at you, Max. Thank you. Thanks. This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell. Just remember to buy well, eat well, and most importantly, live well. And please go vote to protest genetically, to, to require the, the, la the mandatory labeling of genetically modified food. Thanks. Thank you.